Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's say that you have configured Jenkins in AWS Cloud and you're using AWS FreeTire account and you're not using Elastic IP address. So every time you stop your Jenkins EC2 instance and then start, your Jenkins is really acting up. It is taking a lot of time uh, even for UI to come up. So how would you fix that? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. So what is the root cause of this issue? So as you all know that if you are using AWS free tier account, they would not give you um, elastic IP address, isn't it? So every time you stop your EC2 instance and then restart, the IP address would actually change. So due to this issue, whenever you're trying to bring up Jenkins, it would try to access in the background the old URL. So the old URL did not exist, isn't it? So that is the reason why it would take a lot of time for Jenkins UI to come up, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to actually fix that issue. You can do it in two different ways. You can make changes through a command line or you can also make changes using UI. So how do you do it through a command line? All you have to do is you need to navigate to the Jenkins installation directory so this is the Jenkins installation directory, especially if you have configured on Ubuntu machine. So once you navigate to this particular directory, you need to look for this particular file. Okay, and then open this file and then change the Jenkins URL as per your current URL. And then make sure you restart the Jenkins service. So that's it, right? So just three steps. So navigate to the Jenkins installation directory, open up this particular file and then modify your Jenkins URL as per the current URL and then restart the Jenkins service, boom, right? Your Jenkins should perform really well. So the second option is you can also navigate to manage Jenkins and then system configuration and then you need to change the Jenkins URL like that, okay? But again, uh, if you are going with the second option, so you already have your Jenkins, uh, you know, uh, performing slow, right? So it would take a lot of time for you to navigate to here, navigate to here, and then, you know, making changes, okay? So I would prefer making changes through a command line, okay? So let's see how we can fix this, right? So if you see here, I have already configured Jenkins on one of my EC2 instance because obviously, right, so that is a prerequisite. So guys, I just want to uh, clarify uh, this is purely if you are using AWS free tier account and your Jenkins is not really coming up. This is not a recommendation for, uh, you know, if you are already set up Jenkins in your, uh, you know, if you are already using Elastic IP address, um, you know, if, if your Jenkins is performing really slow, it could be for some other reason, okay? So you might, you might want to, you might want to fine tune your JVM, you know, configuration or anything like that, okay? So this solution talks about only if you have configured Jenkins on free tier account, okay? So great, so this is my AWS console. So this is my Jenkins EC2 instance. I have already configured. Um, so let's try to bring up. So we already know that whenever you have this kind of a scenario, your Jenkins is going to act extremely slow, right? So we are going to see that and then we are going to fix it right away. So it would take a few seconds for Jenkins to come up anyway. So let's see. Okay, so Jenkins is up and running now. Uh, let me pick up the public DNS name, go to browser, 8080. Wow. I know it's gonna take a lot of time for Jenkins UI to come up. So we know the issue, right? So you're all seeing it yourself. I'm trying to refresh. So you can literally see here, it's trying to come up, but it's trying to access the old URL somewhere in the background. So that's the reason why it would not come. So let's quickly fix this, right? So like I said, uh, let's try to fix this by accessing Jenkins through a command line, okay? So I'm going to log it into Jenkins through a command line. So I have already set up my keys and everything uh, in my local machine. So let me uh, copy the URL. I'm going to access through my git bash. Okay. 
So there you go. So I logged in into Jenkins uh, through a command line. So we need to navigate to the Jenkins installation directory. So generally speaking, this is the uh, Jenkins installation directory on a Ubuntu machine. So perfect. And then we just need to navigate to this particular uh, file, right? We just need to access this file. So we can first see whether the file exists. So obviously, right? I mean, there are a bunch of XML files uh, would be there. Okay. And then one of the file would be this one. There you go. So the file exists. So all we have to do is we just need to edit the file. So I'm going to put sudo nano or VA editor, whatever your favorite editor is. There you go. So now let's try to see the Jenkins URL, right? So you can clearly see here. So this is a DNS name 52.160.234.91. There you go. You see here, right? So that's exactly what I'm talking about. So this is the current URL. So now the Jenkins UI came up, but again, it took uh, pretty much one to two minutes or even longer to bring up the UI. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the, this is the updated URL. I'm going to copy that. So let's try to change that over here. So I'm removing the old URL. So that is a new URL. Let me make sure. Okay, there you go. So this is a new URL. Perfect. So let me save and come out of it. So control O enter for saving and then control X. There you go. Perfect. And if you want, you can also verify that. There you go. The URL got changed. 109 is sending 109. Perfect. Okay. So let me come out of it. So all we have to do is just restart the Jenkins service. So how do you do that? You're going to say sudo service Jenkins restart. That's it. So it's going to take few seconds. Since we made some configuration changes in the XML file, so that's the reason why we have to restart the Jenkins service. And then if you want to make sure that the service is up and running, you can also say status. There you go. And press Q to come out of it. Perfect. Okay, so now if I go back here, all I have to do is just refresh. Wow. So let's try to log in. Wow, do you all see the difference, guys? It came up immediately, right? So the second way is, so I know the Jenkins UI is really coming up now, but let's say, you know, if you have to change through the UI, let's say you didn't like the CLI part of it, you wanted to change through Jenkins UI. So this is where you would come and change it, right? So there you go. Okay, since we have already changed through a command line, so both are, both are in sync, okay? But if you already have the old URL here, uh, you might want to put the latest URL by copying from here and then replacing that over here and then click on apply and save. All right. I hope this was really useful for you guys, especially uh, if you're new to uh, Jenkins, if you're new to AWS Cloud, you are just learning Jenkins. And then if you stumble upon this particular issue, so this is how you would overcome that issue. Awesome, guys. So thank you for watching this video.